so what this last statement is saying, right, is like by assuming that WV plus VU equals 12, um, it contradicts the given of v, WV plus VU does not equal 12. So it's like, it's like not the same. Not and so, matching. yeah. So therefore, no. assuming that WV plus V12, VU equals 12, that's wrong. And that's why WV does not equal seven. Is that what this last statement is saying? Oh, so this is right? Yeah. I'm pretty, I'm like pretty sure this is right. Does it, is it kind of saying like um, WV plus VW is 12? So the word- like That doesn't match with like the given that says WV right. plus VW does not equal 12. Right, so, so essentially when you do these problems, you're given, you're given everything. Like, you know, like, you know, like for this, right? You know, WV plus VU doesn't equal 12. So obviously if VU is five, then WV isn't seven, right? You like, you know that. But when you do a proof, it's basically just like a long explanation of why, why this doesn't equal or like why this is, why the given is correct. Does that make sense? We're proving why the given is correct? Yeah. Okay. And so like when you do an indirect proof, you're basically showing like, if I, if I do the opposite of what the given says, then I'm gonna get the wrong answer. And that's why the given is right. And so like, when we, right, when we like wrote this, like, you know, we assumed the opposite that WV plus VU equals 12. And then we solved it to prove that WV equals seven. But obviously according to the given, that's not right. And so this last, um, this last step three, right? As you're saying, like this work that we just did contradicts the given. Like it's not, it doesn't match the given. So therefore assuming that what the work we just did, like if you do that, it's false. And that's why the given of WV does not equal seven is like, if you assumed that it wasn't a triangle, then you would have more angles to be adding. And, but we yeah. want to prove why angle B is, cause if you added an angle, like an extra angle, it would like, it would not, it wouldn't be a triangle anymore. And then angle B could be a right angle. So this would be, this would be the thing that I would write. Assume something. Yeah. It would be, so assume angle B is a right angle. Yeah. On the step two, would it kind of be like, then? So then step two would be writing down that you know that the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B plus the measure of angle C is equal to 180. 